you're going to be the first woman commander of the ISS. Can you speak a little bit about the significance of that? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what the specific significance of it is, other than um, I, I really wanted the challenge this time around of trying to be the commander. Uh, having flown there six months before, uh, I thought that would be a great challenge uh, to make this flight a little bit different. So for me personally, I, I think it's the additional challenge that as what drove, drove me to try and do this. Operation Ben, in your view, in building the space station. I think that what is important, is this is the first time there is such a cooperation in a, in a space flight project. So that's why uh, I, th I see it as very important for the future. But of course for Europe it's particularly important because this will be the first time that we will have uh, European assets permanently in space. So I think this is a key point for Europe. To the Malaysian people. Excuse me? Is your flight like really important in Malaysia and do you feel any special pressure as a result of that? Or you know, um, being the first uh, Malaysian Angkasawan, it has been a big res responsibility on my shoulder. To me, it's not just about going to space, even though I have been dreaming about going to space since I was 10. It's more of a personal dream. But more importantly, I do hope to come back and, and, bring, and to promote space program back home in Malaysia. And, but, but I am targeting on the school children and the youth. I'm trying to change their mindset. I'm trying to spark an interest among the school children and tell them, hey, take more of science, study hard, and look to the future. Talk about your interest in space flight and uh, why you believe it's important for this country to work with other countries or to explore or just whatever your take is on.